Hello, this is Northwest Trains Models, and um, we're back for, I suppose it's part two, but this time it's uh, my top five items of rolling stock that I've purchased this year. Um, what I found quite uh, funny was when I put it all on the table, it doesn't look like that many, that much more rolling stock compared to <laughs> the amount of engines I've got. Um, I think there's uh, a similar number actually. Well, it's probably about 30 odd items of rolling stock there without counting. I'm sure someone can count it up and tell me themselves. Um, but yeah, so we start from um, number five. Uh, I think uh, if I can just quickly get one out of the way, I'm going to go for, well, I'm going to go for the two, basically, count them as one. The new Hornby. Um, Mark II network rail coaches. Um, they're quite simple from the bottom half, but I like the livery. The roof's quite nice as well in the grey. I like the livery. I like the, uh, the details on the bogies as well. Um, reasonably close couplings. And they're still at a, a reasonable price compared to some coaches nowadays. So, um, and they run well as well. That's an important thing, so for that reason, they're um, number five. Right, um, number four, we're going to go for this um, mainly as a practical item, not so much as an item of rolling stock. Um, I got this as an alternative to the DAP old track cleaner that I've got, so something I can just plonk on the track and run. Um, you can see by the pad that it's uh, it's had plenty of uh, running on the layout. It's quite a nice livery. I mean, the overall wagon's pretty basic. I think it's an old um, Pico um, wagon that's just been re-liveried. It uh, weighs an absolute ton. So, um, I mean, that's as well, because that grips the track really well. It does drag along the track, so you need a really heavy duty engine to pull this on the layout. Um, I use a Bachman uh, 25 or 24 or even both. And they pull a fan of Bachman 37. Again, it runs really well, doesn't derail, it's got metal wheels. So um, it's good. Um, also, I'm going to cheat a little bit and count this as number four as well. So I've got the equivalent for N gauge as well. This is actually a mini tricks one, the gauge map or gauge master supply both wagons. Um, again, it's quite heavy and uh, I use two engines to, to pull it, one either side. And uh, it's quite easy to change the track cleaning pads. Again, it doesn't derail, runs really well. Um, not a realistic wagon by any means. It's a European outline wagon with network rail livery on it. But, um, yeah, it, it, like I said, it performs a purpose more than anything. Right. Number three. This is quite tough, actually. Um... I'm going to go for this brake van, and I actually got this brake van today. But after unboxing it, compared to the other brake vans I got, the amount of detail in it's lovely. See, it's got glazing in it, I don't think you can tell. But yeah, it's got interior glazing, it's got all the detailed handrails. Um, so you've even got the glazing in here, right in the sides. It's quite delicate, so I'm trying not to break it. I was going to put a, um, a light on the back of it with a battery inside but I don't think I will on this wagon because it looks too nice to uh, to spoil so yeah really happy with that I think that basically cost me six quid that's a uh, great van right so um, that's number three number two again uh, I'm going to go for three coaches because I bought them together and I built them together. These are the old ratio kit built Great Western four wheel coaches. And uh, it took me quite a while to build these, but I was quite pleased with them in the end. I've done them in the Great Western colours. Um, nice and simple. There's no interiors to them, but I did later find out you can get interiors for these. Um, and for the price as well, I think they're about 11, 10, 11 pound each. Um, you got yourself a nice coach. I actually fitted Bachman couplers to them 
rather than the ones that get supplied with it. And also what I was thinking of doing was um, for my next micro layout project is maybe get a couple more of these kits but paint them into um, LMS livery um, or um, a South East Coast Railways livery um, like maroon or brown. Um, probably because I know Hatton's are, are releasing their own four wheel coaches now. They look pretty good and um, but I thought in the meantime what's stopping me painting up one of these in a different livery I know they were made differently for the different regions and different companies made their coaches slightly differently but if, uh, if Hattons can get away with um, making the same coach in different liveries then I don't see why I can't so yeah that, that's an idea for the future so that's uh, number two put them back and number one is uh, going back to Hattons um, but before we go there, um, an honourable mention, going back to the double O gauge version, we've got this very nice N gauge version which I also picked up today. Again, it's got glazing in it. It's a lovely little wagon, um, full of detail. It's actually going to sit that there. Um, another one I picked up, I think I paid about five or six quid for that. Metal wheels, weathered. Very nice wagon. I've also got two of these now, so I'm hoping to get two direct rail services class 20s to pull these eventually. So um, again, they're a nice wagon, and if you've got a smaller layout, they're ideal because they're not a very long train. Um, also, if you remember me train set video, I've got a couple of these European outline wagons. They came with the set. I also picked up a few of these from the Blackpool exhibition. I'm actually just going to move them out of the way for now. Another coach I did like as well, um, that I got pretty recently, was this um, Bachman Auto Coach. I'd say this is probably would have been number six in my favourites list, but Again, lovely detail on it. They are quite pricey, but they're very nice. I might see about see if we can get some interior lighting in this eventually. But I basically got that to go with me, yeah, fourteen XX. Quite looking at that, it looks like it might actually uh, contain interior lighting, but we'll see. Don't really call mentioning it or anything, but yeah, it's got. Um, metal contacts there for something I'll actually have to look into that, it's probably the first time I've actually looked underneath the coach just didn't support it yeah but number one um, I've got to try and keep it on the track because it's virtually impossible to hold is the um, weed killing train from uh, Hattons and uh, again if you wanted just reasonably small layout or short freight trains or um, local haul trains this is your ideal solution uh, again you can use the same direct rail service engines that you use for pulling the nuclear flasks um, most engines pull this in the winter I've seen them um, 37 68s class 20s even the uh, GVRF class 50s, I think I pulled this train at some point. Um, but yeah, they're very detailed. So I don't really want to be picking them up. That is the one downside to these wagons. Is that they're very, very hard to hold. Without everything falling off. But I'll attempt it now. Another thing I'll say is they weigh an absolute ton. So... It's like a hot heavy metal body um, the water jet top pieces they can just lift off where um, you can always glue them down if you don't want to uh, keep them on permanently um, but the detail on these is brilliant and um, very nice models you don't derail you run smoothly and they make a very nice train just give you an example um, that's basically one of the modules it just lifts off and you just simply clip back on um, but like I say I've got to be really careful picking them up 
because they are full of little tiny detail parts. Um, but yeah, that's my favourite uh, piece of rolling stock for this year. So um, I hope you find this interesting and uh, let me know what you think uh, and what, what your personal preferences might be. Got a couple of G-scale coaches in the background that came with the uh, the Stains logo. Um, they, they've already had a running yet to be honest, but hopefully in the spring again, like I said, with the logo. Um, these are also quite nice, I think I paid a five reach for these. Little Bachman wagons, all heavily weathered. So um, thanks again and uh, see you on the next video.